the lens of historic photographs, we learn a story of African-American history. Today, African-Americans in U.S. agriculture are virtually non-existent, and in a world of mechanized industrial farming, it is easy to forget the hands-on physical labor required in the past. I'm Deborah Reed, Curator of Agriculture and the Environment at the Henry Ford, and I'd like to share with you some views, stereograph views specifically, of African-American farm families. During the late 19th century and early 20th century, African Americans, like white Americans, uh, mostly lived in rural America. And according to the U.S. Census, about 25% of all African American farm families owned and operated their own farms. So we have a few views of those families and laboring families as well at work in certain agricultural industries. The first, forestry. So we're looking at a view of a family, or at least three men and a woman, working in a longleaf pine stand or grove in North Carolina. If we look at the stereograph, you can see two men in the background. One of them is using a tool like this called the turpentine hack uh, with a sharp blade and a ball at the end for leverage, and he would score the sap wood of that longleaf pine at a diagonal so the sap would run down those diagonals and into a container. And then folks like the woman here in the front of the image is straining that sap or resin into a container that then is put into the barrel. The barrel is loaded onto the cart and then the cart is hauled off to a market. A second topic relates to America's sweet tooth. Americans consumed as much as 4.7 billion pounds of sugar a year. That's about 60 pounds per person, and that's in the 1890s. Raising that sugar was a major industry, especially in coastal Louisiana and Texas. This stereograph shows some young men in cane fields where the leaves have been stripped off the cane, and you can see the cane standing ready to be cut. Another stereograph shows women taking the leaves off the cane prior to the cane being cut. That cane was then transported to mills, and the cane in the mills was pressed, and the sugar syrup was then refined into either molasses or ultra-refined into white sugar that helped satisfy that sweet tooth for Americans. The third of these American commodities is rice. One of the earlier processes is simply irrigating the rice patties. So this shows a man opening an irrigation canal gate so that the water could flow into the patties. And then families, as you see depicted in this stereograph, would go into the fields with the water down and harvest the rice. And then that would have to be taken to a processing mill for the rice kernels to be extracted. But you see women, men, and children on this raft coming in out of the rice fields in South Carolina. Quick overview of the stereographs showing African-American farm families at work in three important commodities that help satisfy American consumer needs in the late 19th and early 20th century. 